Prince Harry is one of Better Up's high-profile clients and investor in the company. He had been scheduled for over six months to give the closing keynote at their annual conference which was attended by over 2,000 CEOs, executives and leadership coaches. Just a couple of days before the event, Rabisho called Prince Harry to have an important discussion. During the call, Rabisho broke the news to Harry that they had decided to replace him as the keynote speaker with organizational psychologist Adam Grant instead. Needless to say, Prince Harry was not happy about the late change in blunt last-minute communication from Rabisho. So why did BetterUp CEO decide to sideline the prince at the 11th hour? Let's break down what happened and the possible reasons behind this controversial speaker switch-up. First of all, BetterUp prides itself on being politically neutral and focusing on the science of positive psychology and human performance. With Prince Harry's high profile, there was a risk he could say something during his speech that could be seen as too political or controversy and distract from their mission and messaging. Secondly, Adam Grant is one of the most sought-after speakers in the world right now on topics of leadership, motivation, and organizational behavior. His books like Give and Take, Originals, and Think Again have all been bestsellers. As an academic and researcher himself, his keynotes are grounded in rigorous science, which better up values. Replacing Harry with Grant was seen as elevating the intellectual credibility and respect from peers in their industries. Thirdly, in the last year, Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle have been facing increasing criticisms for being woke and politicizing their public roles. After stepping back from senior royal duties, their bombshell Oprah interview talking about racism in the royal family created a media storm in both the US and UK. This backlash was a concern for Better Up as they didn't want any association or drag from any potential controversy. Finally, there had been some whispers in Silicon Valley that BetterUp CEO Alexei Robisho sees himself more as a tech startup founder and entrepreneur rather than just a coach. Some felt replacing a royal with a renowned professor like Adam Grant presented as more in line with tech values of intellectualism and disrupting traditions. It was a bold power move by Robisho to prove he's the one calling the shots not even a prince. So in weighing all these factors, the calculus for Robish show was that having Adam Grant as the headliner was the safer, less risky option and a big PR win for better up going into their annual event. Now, to be clear, Prince Harry has long championed mental health through his Archul Foundation, and he remained fully supportive of better up's mission. But the potential downsides and distraction from controversy outweighed keeping Harry as the speaker from Better Up's perspective. When news broke about the last minute switch, it sent major shockwaves within the royal family. The British press went into a frenzy, and allegations of disrespect towards the prince started circulating. Sources close to Harry claim he was legitimately upset about finding out via a blunt phone call rather than a face to face meeting. A spokesperson for Prince Harry declined to comment but stressed he holds no ill will towards Better Up or Grant. On the other hand, Adam Grant said in an interview he was happy to step in on short notice to support the event. While he acknowledged it must have been difficult for Prince Harry, Grant maintained Better Up made the right choice based on ensuring the focus remained on their mission and message over any potential distractions. So, what does this mean for Prince Harry and his role with Better Up going forward? As one of their investors and high-profile clients, there is no doubt this was a huge blow to the prince's ego and brand. Some experts said it could seriously damage his credibility working with Silicon Valley companies if a CEO was brazen enough to bench him so publicly. However, others argue this may ultimately be a small bump in the road rather than a deal-breaker. Prince Harry remains passionate about advocating for mental health globally and better up still values having a senior royal associated with elevating their image. As long as Harry doesn't take it too personally, both parties may be able to move on professionally for now. But it will be an ongoing test of their relationship to see if this level of trust can truly be rebuilt after such a bold power move by their CEO.